It's all about sweets for your sweetie on today's show. And Christine, our happy cookie lady, is back. She's the sweetest lady we know. Aww. So we're excited <laughs> to have you on the show today. Earlier, she made her two-ingredient pink fudge, a strawberry fudge with just um, melted white chocolate chips and a can of strawberry frosting. It looks so cute. You can um, cut it in heart shapes or just cut it in squares and put it in these little paper liners. Adorable. A whole really box of those would tasty. Be nice. Yeah, you can pick up those boxes at craft stores and I think gifts from the heart, um, you know, at the holidays are, are just so important. Anybody can go out and buy a gift, but making it takes some extra time. And it's a great way to save money too, um, make, make things in your kitchen. So this is a fun one. Um, and the way Christine has it dressed up, if you're having a, uh, a Valentine's Day party, or get together or just a movie night at home how cute to do a big bowl of this and we've got a little cupid floating in there uh, with some m&ms um, those are just the valentine's m&ms yeah super yeah. cute so we're going to show you how to do a valentine's day uh, party mix uh, that's very very easy just a few ingredients and it's got peanut butter and white chocolate and mm, i'm excited about it and i don't think there's gluten in the white chips, and I don't think there's gluten in anything else, so it might be a gluten-free recipe, okay. too, because we're using the, um, the rice, rice checks. The rice checks. So. Good point. Good point. So we've got peanut butter. We've got a quarter cup of peanut butter, the, okay. the smooth, okay, and two tablespoons of butter or margarine, and a half cup of the white chips. Okay. And we're going to heat that. It's going to be a total of about a minute 30, but okay. you want to stir it after each 30. Okay. All right. I'll get that going okay. there. Now... We've got four and a half cups of the of the checks, uh, the the rice. The rice, checks. the rice now, checks. Now this bowl holds three batches. Okay, so, so you might want to double, triple this it, recipe. It just depends on how much you need. I mean, this is a nice size if you're just making a little treat for the family. Mm -hmm. But if you're making treats for school or a party, yeah, definitely make more, more for sure. I would do each batch separately, though. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to to handle the whole thing. That's a good so. point. Now, also. Um, I know when you do these mixes, it can, especially with white chocolate and peanut butter, um, it can be messy and sticky. So this is a great tip. So okay. we've lined one of these big foil pans, or maybe you have a big baking sheet at home. Yeah, the recipe some... said just foil or wax paper, and I have these, so I figured that way we can move it around the studio and not be dumping it off. Of I the love wax that because so. you really want to get that coating all over everything, yeah. and then you so. want to spread it out so it can dry. Okay, so. good, good point. So this is a bit of a make ahead. So if you are having people over for Valentine's Day this weekend, can it's you do in this? It's about like, a half hour. Uh -huh. So but you could do it the day before. Okay, good to know. So it lasts a little bit. You're saying? Yeah. Okay. I made these yesterday, and I don't think this is going to last past today. <laughs> Probably not. So a little bit more time on that. We just, yeah, this just is a the bit. butter, the um, white chocolate chips, and a little bit of peanut butter. Yeah, we so definitely want to make sure we got those white chocolate chips as melted as we can. Okay, and then you picked up some. Um, M&M's have the uh, the Valentine's M&M's. Those are going to go mix, get mixed in with half of it once we've coated it. They're so cute with the they're pink and red. And I, I love white. those. Yeah. And then I have the uh, two tablespoons of pink and white Jimmies. Okay. I have a combination of Jimmies, and then I have little heart-shaped ones that I found cute. someplace. So I kind of had those mixed up. Those are going to go in because we're going to take half of this and turn it into like kind of like the the puppy chow that you might know. Yeah. And then the ha other half gets these sprinkled, and then they get. Combined all right, I love it. All right, I think this should be all melty and yummy. Yeah, it looks perfect. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, it's starting to bubble up and everything. And it smells like I want to dive into that. <laughs> just want to give that just a minute or so just to melt those chips. I... We'll pretend that it's totally melted for purposes here. And I think it's just a few little yeah, pieces. Yeah, the, in the there, chips, um, they melt really quickly in the hot liquid. So if they're not, they don't look like they're melted. Once they're in that hot liquid, they kind of do it on its own. Okay, so now we've got our Chex mix. So I'm going to pour it over here. All of it? Yep. Okay. Last bit of it out of there. <laughs> oh, it smells so it good. It does. All right. Then we're going to make sure that all of them are, are as covered as they can be in here. A big bowl is key. Yeah. It's kind of sometimes hard to. I wasn't thinking. That's <laughs> all right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a gallon zippered bag okay. and we're going to put about half of it in there. Okay. So if you want to, can you? Yeah. 
Okay. How's that? That's good. We get to eat the escapees. Okay. Then you're okay. going to take good. about a third of a cup of powdered sugar and put it in there. And meanwhile, you can mix uh, with what's left in there the M&Ms and the Jimmies. I suppose covering, closing this would be a good <laughs> idea. That's why we got aprons on, Christine. <laughs> and then this gets laid out on this wax paper? Yeah. On one you put the, that mixture and on the other you put this. It takes between 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes for it to dry to the point, dry and cool. You're basically waiting for it to cool. Okay, and then the powdered one. sugar Excuse one goes over there. Nope, you're fine. Just spread it out. And, and then once right. there, it's all cooled, then you're going to combine the two together. Yeah, so and you keep get it in. Once it's all cooled and, and mixed together, keep it. I had a nice uh, cling wrap over here so that it stayed nice, but it's, it's tasty. How cute. To even put in the little gift bags with yeah. a ribbon around as a nice little um, gift or favor. You cute for each yeah. of the grandkids' kids. Absolutely. I'd, I'd be kind of nervous. you got to make sure none of the kids in class have a peanut true, allergy. True, true. Good point. They look great. Happy Valentine's Day. You Thanks too. for sharing. You can find Christine on Facebook. Happy Cookie Lady. We'll be back.